Yes, this is the voice of Queen Omega. And you're listening to Omega FM. Big up. I am a ganja baby. Sometimes my friend them call me ganja lady. Smoking cess, it's no buts, no maybe. Blazing every day till me ganja crazy. Hey, 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 I am a ganja baby. Sometimes my friend them call me ganja lady. Smoking cess, it's no buts, no maybe. Blazing every day. Yes, this is the voice of Queen Omega. Okay, so there it is. Uh, interview between myself and Mother Matilda, a beautiful soul. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. But in terms of the message, um, it was the message content that I needed you to hear because clearly um, ain't nothing changed. That recording was in 2009, by the way. And, you know, with 2016, ain't nothing changed. Nothing changed. So we have got to make the change. And like the sister who found in right, it's the sorry sis, I didn't grab your name. I'm really apologetic for that. However, you made the point and you are absolutely on point, most definitely. Okay, I'm going to bring that one down, down, down. Now we've got a live caller on the wire. Um, caller goes by the name of DJ, um, Jammers. Jammers, good afternoon and welcome, brother man. How you doing? I hear you, brother, man. I hear you. All right, I'm going to try... Hang on one second, Travis. I'm going to see if we can get you a little bit louder and live. One second. Okay, let's try that now. Jamez, are you with us? Yes, can you hear me better now? Fantastic, fantastic. Absolutely, yes, indeed. Good afternoon, sir. How are you, my brother? Yeah, I'm fine. It's all good, man. It's all good. The ancestors are around and it's all good. Speaking that West London, it's made the crew, you know? All right, uh, yeah. And yourself, I know you're working extraordinarily hard to get this thing off the ground, you know? True indeed, true and indeed. the community. True indeed, my brethren, yes. All right, so basically what we're dealing with here is a presentation that's going to be happening in conjunction um, with the event on the 24th of September, which is um, Find Your Voice in the Law Learning Circle working in conjunction. Uh, it's a two-part event that's going to be happening, and the first part of the event is called Meet Your Straw Man. Um, basically, um, the, it's about, you know, um, the elements of meeting your straw man is what is the straw man and its purpose? Is it real? Where did it come from? Who created it? Is it worth money? And how do I take control of it? Now, this is going to be held at Parkview Academy on the 24th of September, and that's down in West Green Road in Tottenham N15. Um, um, that session starts from 5 p.m. and runs through till 7, where you're going to learn a lot about the uh, the whole straw man thing, its connection to the birth certificate, and a whole load of stuff. On the flip side of that, we've got um, etymology and kinetic roots of words. Yeah, so we'll be looking at words in terms of what words mean, etc., uh, etc. Et On the wire here, we've got DJ Jammers, who's the author of Decoding Language. Yeah. So, DJ Jammers, give us a breakdown, brother man. You know, how did you get on this journey of etymology? What drove you or led you into that area of dissecting and looking at words? Well, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a professor or a lecturer. I've never been to university or I can't speak many languages, but I was living in a car for a little period of time about two years. And when I kept to like, about this point, like, something happened to me which has given me this power to look at letters in a different way. And what it is, when I, it's, when I start to get too upset about it, it's like, they, 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 they thought that I was trying to swallow all these books or something. So I come like, so much the, the aspects of words. And I had to go into, like, Latin and linguistics to say if what I was saying was true and correct. And what I was, what I was finding is the, the, the fine book. Sorry, Jammers. Sorry, Jammers. I'm gonna jam, jam, Jammers. Sorry, I'm gonna stop you in your flow. Can you just try and adjust your because your signal's not too bright at the minute. If you can just move around a little bit so we can get you perfect so everybody can hear you, that'd be great. Right. Can you hear me any better now? That is absolutely beautiful, my brother. Nice one. Yes, sir. Do continue in, in, in your journey. Yes. So, the, uh, what I found is that what we've been shown about words is not utterly true and correct, you know, and there's, there's two different systems at play here with the elite learn a letter sound and words in, in a, via grammar, and the rest of society learns via kinds of compre by comprehension. Okay, okay. So they've got a form, 
Yeah. Look at each of these produced like 19 prime ministers and the royal society, the royal family. They 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 learn uh, their their language skills at Eton learn it by a by the grammar media. Well, the rest of us are learning through a different form, and and at a current rate, we're now with 27 from the bottom in the league of uh, language skills, level skills. So, so when you say when you say that, because um, I understand clearly what you're saying in relation to how these people have a totally different language. As far as I know, there's three different languages going on in the English, so-called English language. And um, in terms of what they call us as common people, what is the language that, in in terms of phraseology, is it that we're actually using? Well, basically, language is designed to make you deaf, dumb, and blind. Basically. All right. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's designed to disguise um, the actual true aspect of things. You see, and uh, the key, the key is it, they give you a bunch of le- like in math they'll tell you one plus one and show you the formula equals two. But in a language they give you a bunch of letters, not tell you how the, how these how to work out why these letters apply to a certain action. Okay. And in the key element is in the sound. So look, a, a word is make up, made up of a combination of sounds, and each individual sound has a, in turn its own meaning. See, so, in the base of the word you use common now, common you know, in Old English means something that you use. Right. So, when your class is a common people, that means that's something that you use, like you have a common ground, that means that's something that's open to be used. Okay, so the higher echelon, like for example, um, Oxford and Cambridge type language, then you've got the other form, which is what the judges, politicians, solicitors and barristers use, which they call legalese. Um, again, um, three different stratas of English. So when one is, for example, conversing with a solicitor, um, he's talking a totally different language to you, uh, but it sounds good, and most people just accept it without actually dissecting it. Um, these are the tricks and the trappings of words, like you rightly say, language is basically really not fit for purpose. But in saying that, um, how? what is the method that one should try to align themselves with in terms of communication, then, if language is, is what you say it is? Well, as I said, basically, you've got to start to hear, see, and be able to speak what language is really about. Yes. You know, and, ba- and we have to, because basically language is designed to make you think. It's designed, it's, it's designed in an abstract way that it goes straight into your mind. You can't use something that is in your mind. Mm. You know, so, for instance, if you've got the word revolve, it's, the letters are, are, you're told to spell the word. When you spell something, that means you focus on it and, and without really um, breaking anything down, you're just giving it and it goes straight into your mind. You go into a trance. So you, you, you focus on the letters, which is R E V O L V E, evolve. You focus on the letters to stop you from hearing the sound in the word. Right. The, the, the mask receiver is going to put it right in front of your face because that's the last place you're going to look. So in the word revolve now, you've got two sounds that make up that one word, but you're just given a letter, so the, you look at the letters and you don't hear the sound. Yes. So that makes you deaf to the, the, the deaf to the sounds in the words. And it also makes you blind because you can't see the sounds in the words. Right. So you've but you, you, you've been trained, which is another form of to be rained over, mm-hmm. to rain over something, All right. to, to look at it as R E T. No, sorry, R E V O L V E. R E V O. You just put that into your head. Mm-hmm. But basically, it's made of two sounds. Re. Yes. Wolf, right. Two sounds that 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 make up another word. If you say it backwards. Re means to go back. The sound re. Return, renew, recall, remember. So every time you see uh, you see the word re, you know it means to go back. Yes, yes. Volve means to turn. It also Latin as well. So volve means to turn. And then when you say it backwards, you get the answer. You get the you get the reality or the essence of the word. So revolve. You say it backwards. In, it, you get the Latin. You get so it's revolve is turn back. Yes. Recall. Yes. It's called back. 
they, they teach you only one way of looking at a word, but basically you need to look at the words two ways to get the reality in the word. So when you break it into the sounds, now you can actually hear the word and you can actually see the sounds. And then you can actually speak what it really means. That's but it. when you've been given the letter, also the, the P word, when you look at letter, you go back into the original meaning of the word letter, it becomes, it, it's, it's the word leaf. Leaf, and that means to make something, to make something go. Uh, well, language means long, to make something longer than it's usually. And leaf means to put it into a chart. Old English, which is spelled L E T H E. That's where the word letter comes from. It's designed to make you go into a trance via the method of spelling. And the sp- and the spell <laughs> is in the spelling. Spell, and if you break down the sound in spelling, tell means a silent force, it means a force. So compel, look at it, say it backwards, is, is a force coming to you. Retail, tell is the force coming back to you. Mm-hmm. This spell is when the force is being separated. So spell is the force, S is silent as in a snake and it makes a silent sound, is a silent force in the word. If you look at the word, break down the word tell now, you see the word L in it. Old, uh, the old breakdown of the word tell is spirit. In the, in the, the Bible, Elohim, L is the spirit. Yes. So it's a silent movement of your spirit. Wow. Wow, Jamis, that's that's deep, brother man. That is deep. So, Jamis, how long how long uh, have you been on this journey in terms of dissecting words, man? I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, uh, about seven years. And the funny the thing about it is, that this is not coming from no book. So, what I'm talking about, it's like you won't find it on internet or a lot of the things I'm talking about. You won't find you can't Google it, find it in any book, find it in any of the professors' man- lecture manuals. So all of it comes from within. Yes, 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 yes. That's where our power resides, true indeed. Yeah, and that's what, this is what I want to show is that we've got this power within that can surpass any power that, that that's out there, you know, but we just need to tap into that. So, 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 so Jammers, then what hmm. time is true tribulation that was able to, to, to the, the tribulation that, like you said, you was living in your car at the time when you got this connection, yeah? So yeah. it's tribulation that brought you to the place where you're at now it's basically as well I can't I can't look at a word like other people a word because I was at such a lower level yes words to me is life and death yeah because if I had the wrong thought I wouldn't be here now boom so boom. I got to a situation where the only thing that could get me out of situations was my mind there's wow. nothing else around to save me you so I can't take a word lightly again you see, yes that's what's that's what saved me to where I am. It's like a, it's like a, basically, it's like a, um, if you look at the old Batman films or the, the, the James Bond movie. Yes. You're in a situation and there's only one move to make to get out of that situation. And that's what we have to do. Yes. Anytime we're in a situation, there's one move to make to get out of it. Wow. Jammers, man, that, that, that is so refreshing, my brother, man. You know what? It's like, you know, because I'm sure many of us know that, you know, the, you know, the trickery of words and all the rest of it. But, man, I love what you're bringing to the table, man. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So tell me this. You, you've, you've published a book, right? Yeah, I, I published two books, yeah. And I'm, 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 trying to, I'm, I'm trying to finish a third one in time for this, um, this show for Saturday. So that's what I'm doing now, yeah. All right, sweet. Where can we get your book, brother, man? It should be available on the day if they come to the event on twenty fourth. Okay. It will be it will be available then and after that it will be available on the website as well. Yeah, listen man, listen. Um um um, Lord <laughs> God, you see, you got me, you got me kicking down <laughs> to our judge. That's what it could be done. You see, not, you, see you see, <laughs> you see, you see, the word sound is powerful, brother. Powerful. Yeah, Listen, I've got real, a caller. Yeah. Let's see what this caller wants to say. Hold tight. Um, caller, you're live. Amiga, greetings. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm good, brother. Um, just letting you know. The show which you're um, conducting is very good. However, just get me, don't put me on live. Okay. No, man, you're live, brother. You're live because it takes a question you want to ask. So, because we've got a guest talking right here, right now. So, I figured that you wanted to speak to him. Okay. In that case, um, stay about, about 10 minutes um, over time because I'm on my way. Go again. Uh, I'll be late, sir. So, I'm on my way. All right, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. 
All right, peace. Right, run. Sorry, I think that was the next presenter. Sorry, Jammers. Sorry about that, brother, man. No problem. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, yeah, no. Jammers. Um, boom. The author, the, the, the title of your book is Decoding Language, right? That's correct, yeah. All right, man. So, yeah, you make sure you keep a copy of that for me, see? Okay, and the new, the new one's Etymology, The Roots of Words. Nice, 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 nice. You're coming to take the dictionary out of circulation because when you look in the dictionary, you just become a dick. <laughs> Yeah, tell me about that word there. Tell me about that <laughs> oh, word there. No, no. You know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, right. Basically, um, there was a professor who wanted to put a book together with words. Uh-huh. And the biggest contributor to this book, yeah, is getting all these people coming in. He had a one big contributor to the book. Right. He was actual, he found that he was a madman, yeah? Mm. He was a, in a mental institute. This is the biggest contribution to the to the dictionary. Mm. He was in a mental institution uh, through killing somebody. <laughs> and uh, part of his madness, he ended up cut, cutting off his own um, uh, male, male organ. Rah. Okay. Yeah, so the, the biggest contribution of a dictionary cut off his own male organ. And it's funny how didn't it, you got the name Dick Shun. Yes. So Shun means when you, you move away from something. Right. And so even if you play with the letters of the, the the word dictionary, you'll get the word C R Y cry A N I D O I T cry an idiot or an idiot cry. Yeah. You get yeah. that from the letters in the word dictionary. Right. So, 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 <laughs> so in real terms, what we are saying, in, in chop off him things, yeah, yes. and, 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 and it was an, ic- what are they, Dick Sean, let me see if we can um, decipher it. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the dick get cut off. It was an action, and it was airy, scary, worried. Well, that's what I'm assuming. But anyway, yeah, we like what I say, brother. We like what I say. Listen, uh, somebody here who's saying the text. Somebody's asked for a copy, and they they want a copy too. So wow, well, so, so I think it's going to be right. I'll make you the link here. If anybody wants a copy, you're the link for that, and you can deal with that. Yeah. All right, brother. No problem. No problem. No problem. I'm looking for yo. I'm I'm looking forward to get bury my head into that book there, man. Because you see, really, 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 we need to start looking backwards, you know. True indeed, true indeed, <laughs> man. But what are they? What are they? What are they? What are they? Because now you, now you raise a word in my mind. Now, black. What is? Give us the etymology oh, no. of black. Yeah, man, you have to that's go right, Rasta. You have to go right now. You know, that's another show still, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know because yeah, yeah, no. Um, we have a sister in called Yaffa Bay. Uh, she's a Moor, and she oh, says, yeah, yeah. "Yeah," and she said that the word "black" actually means white. And it, and mm-hmm. from from a Latin perspective, um, I get to understand that "black" means civil mortis, meaning that "black" is dead. So, so did I get said that? That's the, the second part you said. Right. The Latin the Latin breakdown of 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 black is civil mortis, which means that basically right. basically we're dead. Yeah, from right. your black, you're dead. So right. I'm saying that us using that word black puts us into a dead state where we can't resurrect because we are classified as dead stock. Yeah, that's why okay. them can kill us. They can kill us willy nilly anywhere, prison, mm-hmm. on the road, um, the mental health hospitals, anywhere, and there's never mm-hmm. any outcry. You know what I mean? Why? Because black is not protected by anything. Black is seen as nothing. We're dead. Mm-hmm. But if we mm-hmm. claim back our true um, name as Nubians or Moors, uh, you know what I mean? Then we would get more credence and respect as a nation mm-hmm. of people. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm going to... Because when you said something I'm not sure of, I'm going to have to look into that Latin... Was well, that cool? You said it? Yeah, that yeah, cool, that so cool, that cool. And then the next thing is, um, there's also two ways of looking at something, you see. Mm. There's two ways of looking at something. Someone will give you something, but you might fight. Someone might give you a, a knife, and you can use it to build something, where the other person can only use it to cut something. Mm, mm, you see? Mm. So we've got the power over the word. Right. You know? That's just that's just the trick that they're trying to play, that they give you a word, and you have to move to that word. You've got the power to reverse that word and use it back in a different way, you see. Yes, 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 because the power is in the... They say word sound is power. And if power, we use, yeah. And if we're using somebody else's words... That, and, and it's, it's not for our highest good then obviously right. we're giving them our energy by using right. their words so there's a double meaning yeah yes and it's keeping us back way it's keeping us down it's, it's mm-hmm. not rising us to our to our greatest greatness 
Oh, great greatness. Yeah, basically, I, I don't really want to go into that thing there because I think that's another whole show. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just love our whole show. Well, you're not, you're like, not. Oh, well, uh, uh, because basically in the word, if you look at the word white, you take away the W, you get the word hype. Right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you look at the word black, you take away the B, you get the word lack. Right. <sighs> <laughs> sure, you see, no, we're on the same frequency. <laughs> we're on the same frequency, my brother, most definitely. Listen, it's going to be. Show, it, there's a whole lot more to that. We could talk, we, we should have a show just based on that, you know. Well, listen, Jamis, you know, anytime you're ready, you know, Medea, just come in, brother. You know what I mean? Because yeah, well, right now. Done, you know, yeah, because definitely. right now it's about each one teaching one, and it's about elevating our nation, our fallen. We've got to exhume this fallen nation, and, you know, we have to start with the basics, which is the words, you know? Yeah. Words. And that, funny enough, that is a, it's a basic, it's a basic science so for every other science. Mm. You know, so, so people might think, oh, this is a high science, but no, this is the starting point where all the science comes from. It's the seed, you see. True indeed. True indeed. But I feel that I'm gonna have to come down there with a camera crew, so this one needs to be put on a DVD, you know. Brother, uh, like we say, the doors open. You know, we got open door policy here, man. You know, what I mean, they just come when you're ready. You know, see. Well, I'll come the week after the event on the Friday. You know. All right. All right. Well, you know. We, 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 time. We, we've been talking about that all right life. right so neatly, neatly. Radio, yeah? true indeed true indeed all right my brother listen give thanks man we're gonna look forward to seeing you on the 24th man that's gonna be it that's gonna be a, a session never to be forgotten trust we've got a double dose definitely of... and i'm coming there with my pen and paper as well to make some notes on your show as well yes 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 it's a, yes absolutely it's just strictly so pen and paper yeah, respect. Man. All right, then. Big up yourself, Jamas, and look after, yeah? And big up, brother, Doug. Big up all the listeners and big up yourself, yeah? Concrete respect all the time, Bridgin. Respect, respect. And the word respect means to look back. All right, then. We say things, we don't realise what we're saying, but sometimes the reality is in that. Because it comes from spectacle, which means spectator, spectacles, means to look, re means to go back. So actually, we're telling ourselves what to do. True indeed. True indeed. Yeah, man, yeah, man, uh, yeah, man. So, so the, um, the wife of Melanie Stevenson, the wife of Dr. Lala Africa, told me something that I never forgot. It's the little whispers we've got to listen to. Yes. Because sometimes you're, tell, you're, you're telling yourself to think to do, but you don't really, you know what your, your, your thoughts are telling you. Serious talk. Serious talk. In the word thought is what you ought to be doing. But sorry, that's. <laughs> Yeah, it's fair. Concrete, listen, look after peace and love all the way, man. We'll catch up, you all right? Definitely, definitely, yeah. Respect. Keep up the good work. Yeah, yeah, man, you too, Jammers. Much love all the way, brother. Uh, respect. Peace, respect, yeah. peace. Just want to give thanks to you, brother Jammers, for that call, most definitely. Yep, it's all about wordology and dissecting words and getting to understand what words truly mean and what they really, really, really represent. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is why... The whole thing about the straw man is so essential um, for you to overstand the trick and the trappings that has been um, spun over our heads and got us as sur uh, subservient slaves in this society. So when you book a man or a woman, say, boy, well, you know, you walk on, everything good, yeah, mommy, just got the slavery. So they know they're in slave. They know it because they utter it and they say it. Yeah. So the fact that they... The fact that they know they're slaves, yeah, um, is an admission to to the status, and they gladly they gladly roll with it. So we need to really look at the etymology of words. We need to really dissect it. And like we say, the breaking down of the straw man is the thing that's really going to help to free your mind. Yeah. Once the genie's at the bottle, you can't put it back. So you, it, we're talking liberation. That's what we're talking. Read him up. I know you're out there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice I leave to you.